mapagbalang Pilipinas. Hello, world! Good day, learners! Welcome to Introduction to World Religions and Belief Systems class. I am Sir Greg, your Humanities and Social Sciences teacher, and let me guide you in this learning journey. Before we continue, I hope that you are in your most comfortable learning spot. Have a copy of your self-learning module, activity sheet, notebook, and pen for noting important details. I know that you are all excited, so let us begin. Taoism functioned as a philosophy of abandonment and withdrawal from the rampant warfare and social unrest which characterized the reign of the Zhu dynasty, a period of constant struggle for power and wealth and prestige. It began in the state of Chu in the southern part of the present Hunan province. In effect, it served as a protest of common people against the rising despotism of rulers and served as a reaction to the growing firmness of the moralists who were followers of Confucius. Taoists struggled to fight for individual autonomy in the midst of the struggle of rulers and moralists to bring people to conform to social patterns to achieve social harmony. The ultimate goal of Taoists was to conform to the great pattern of nature which is called Tao or the Way. As a philosophy, Taoism focuses on the great mysteries of the Tao. As a religion, its goal is to achieve long life and ultimately immortality. The yin and the yang is the most well-known Taoist religious symbol. It is an image composed of a circle divided into two swirling parts, one black and the other white. Within each swirling or teardrop-shaped half is a smaller circle of the opposite color. Overall, the yin and the yang symbol signifies the perfect harmonic balance in the universe. For example, day and night, birth and death. According to Taoist cosmology, the big circle signifies the Tao, the source of existence. Meanwhile, the black and white teardrop-shaped halves signifies the yin chi and the yang chi, known as the primordial feminine and masculine energies respectively. Taoists believe that the interplay of the yin chi and the yang chi created the manifest world. Lao Tzu, meaning old master, is believed to have authored the Tao Te Ching, dating back to around 3rd century BCE. According to myth, Lao Tzu was conceived by a shooting star and was born of a virgin mother who kept him in her womb for 82 years. He was said to be born with flowing hair, which signified that he would become a wise man. He is considered as the first important Taoist who is believed to be a senior contemporary of Kung Fu Zi, although there is much debate on his date and identity. Chuang Chu is believed to have lived from 369 to around 286 BCE. Sima Qian also wrote a biography of Chuang Chu in the historical records. Chuang Chu means Master Chuang. He is considered a great philosopher and a great writer, and he wrote a book together with his followers which became known as Chuang Chu and was believed to be completed before the Han Dynasty. Taoism's foundational text is the Tao Te Ching, meaning the Book of the Way in its power. It is a mysterious collection of enigmatic remarks which many find hard to understand. Its opening line, which is often translated as the name that can be named as not the eternal name, implies the difficulty of putting the truth into words and can only be explained through riddles and paradox. The Tao Te Ching has often been attributed to Lao Tzu, but some believe that it was a product of the collective efforts among various groups in China. Since a closer analysis of the scripture reveals that there is no integrated philosophy in the Tao Te Ching, instead it was a collection of sayings and proverbs, lines from popular songs and clever maxims coming from various contributors with various concerns. The Tao Te Ching, which literally means the book of the way in its power, expounds on the meaning of Tao and its accompanying concept of De. The power or virtue acquired by a person by means of living in harmony with Tao. It is said to have a paradoxical element, meaning it contains assertions that were rather contradictory and illogical, yet contain deeper meaning which can be understood through intuition than through rational thinking.
Another important scripture is the Chuang Chu dating to the 3rd century BCE and attributed to a man named Chuang Chu, the second founder of Taoism. It consists of delightful parables, metaphors, and poetic passages and is praised for its high literary value which represents the most significant formulation of early Taoist thought. Chuang Chu is divided into three sections, the inner chapters, outer chapters, and miscellaneous chapters. According to some experts, certain chapters of the text were written by scholars during the early part of Han Dynasty. But some question this allegation, saying that some of its chapters are quoted by Han Feizi and Liu Shu Chun Q, which had been completed before the Qin. All in all, the book, which is an anthology of essays that make use of parables and allegories, discusses spiritual freedom, which makes one surpass the limitation of one's own mind, and not merely the freedom from social norms and restrictions. Chuang Chu believes that such freedom can only be attained by living according to the Tao itself. Part of living according to the Tao is to defer to its laws, which includes the law of dying. According to the book, the sage, through his exceptional wisdom, is liberated from life's ups and downs and the world and has overcome his sensibility. This gives equal importance to life and death and does not advocate longevity as opposed to Confucianism. There are other passages in the text, however, which suggest otherwise. For instance, there is a passage which describes the sage as immortals who no longer depend on a diet of grains, have defeated death, and have the ability to help others get well from sickness and overcome other evils. Taoism can be best understood by discussing its concepts and beliefs. According to Lao the Tao, which is the essential concept and creative principle in Taoism, existed before the world. It is undetectable, indistinct, shapeless, and indefinable. It is the foundation of all being and the way in which nature and the universe exist. All things come from it and are nourished by it. That is why sometimes the Tao is called Mother. Tao is the origin of heaven and earth. It is also the way in which heaven and earth now live. Its meaning differ across religions and philosophies. For Confucians, it refers to the basic principles of moral philosophy, while for the legalists, it is the way of power. The Tao is distinct from God. It is not a being, for it is the origin of all beings, and its great virtue is that it does everything but desires nothing. It is emptiness which does not compete with other forces but is content with itself. This contentment, when practiced by people, will enable them to lead good lives. Unlike the Abrahamic religions, Taoism does not have a god for Taoists believe that the universe originated from the Tao, which created and controls the universe and distantly guides things on their way. However, the Tao itself is not God and is not worshipped by the Taoists. Instead, they worship deities who are gods of a particular role and they traditionally worship Lao Tzu not only as the first god of Taoism but also as the representation of the Tao. Most of the deities worshipped by the Taoists were borrowed from other cultures but they are within the universe and are subject to the Tao. The Taoist pantheon has often been described as a divine administration which reflects the secular governments of imperial China. However, some believe that it is the other way around, that the secular administrations are just reflections of the divine administration. For the Taoist, the Tao possesses heavenly qualities, is mysterious, indescribable, lies under the surface of sense perception, and unifies obvious opposites on a different level. Taoists also believe that the Tao can only be found in silence since it is heavenly and beyond beyond change. For the Taoists, God is found inside us, in the thoughtful emptiness from which all power and life originates in all directions. It is the nothing within all of us where all our energy comes from. The De, which means virtue or the proper adherence to the Tao, is another basic concept in Taoism. It encourages an action in nature and advocates the quiet and passive nature of a person so that the Tao or the creative principle in the universe may act through them without interference. People should simply follow the Tao and must do nothing on their own. In this regard, Lao Tzu profess a distaste for culture and civilization for they are products of human activity and proof of humanity's tampering with nature. In line with this, he preferred the use of inaction in ruling the people. Non-competition in emptiness is said to be the other side of the principle of inaction in nature. For Taoist inaction means a person's outward actions and emptiness is the corresponding inner state which also means absence of desire. Taoists believe that when a person becomes peaceful, 
peaceful, that person acquires power to overcome all things without having to compete with others. In line with this, humility and avoiding competition with others are two virtues which Taoists value most. Lastly, contentment with what is, is another expression of inaction in nature and of non-competition in emptiness. By following the way of nature, a person can attain contentment. For Lao Tzu, the way of happiness is contentment. There is no greater sin than the desire for possession, no greater curse than the lack of contentment. Wu Wei means no behavior, doing nothing. It also means to do without doing or actionless activity. It is a concept used to negate or limit human action. It refers to the cancellation or restriction of human behavior, especially human activities. Wu Wei may refer to certain stages such as non-behavior, doing nothing, taking as little action as possible, taking action spontaneously, taking a passive attitude towards society, waiting for the spontaneous transformation of things, and taking action according to objective conditions and the nature of things things or acting naturally. It advocates a go-with-the-flow attitude by cultivating a state of being wherein our actions are in harmony with the natural cycles of the universe. Lao Tzu believed that the Wu Wei can lead to a peaceful and harmonious society. The opposite of Wu Wei which is Yu Wei means taking action which Lao Tzu believes causes vicious actions, theft, and crime. Wu Wei on the other hand brings prosperity, harmony, and peace. The Qi refers to natural energy or life force that sustains living beings. Qi literally means air or vapor. It is the fundamental substance of nature and living beings as well as life force. It refers to matter which is continuous, energetic, and dynamic. It is sometimes translated as material force or vital force. It is considered as the foundation of body and life. Taoists believe that everything is made up of Qi and will eventually return to Qi. Because of this, people should not be afraid of death. For life and death are but phases of circulation of qi. Chuang Chu articulated the concept of qi with the story of his wife's death, which narrates that when Wei Chu went to Chuang Chu to console him for the death of his wife, he found Chuang Chu drumming upon an inverted bowl on his knees and singing a song. Chuang Chu explained that while it is true that he was saddened by his wife's death, he was also aware that the qi is still there. It just evolved into another form, which is death. While some believe that qi is a separate force from the physical world, some think that it comes from physical matter, while others believe that matter arises from qi. Taoists believe that the balance of qi is the key to a healthy life and longevity. Qi considered as the basic component of everything that exists, which gives form to life and makes things happen. It is considered as the root of the human body, the basis of human health. Every person has a normal or healthy the amount of chi and health is achieved when there is balance and harmony in its flow. Ritual or liturgical expressions are important to the Taoist religion. This include ritual initiation meant for purification or renewal in the life cycle and development of the human person. Taoist priests are licensed to perform rituals of specific traditions. Humility and non-competition are among the most important virtues in Taoism. These virtues together with naturalness and naturalism as well as non-aggression and passive rule manifest the fundamental virtue of Wu Wei. The physical appearance of the Taoist sage exemplifies Amplifies the virtue of humility, for on the outside the sage may dress shabbily, but his mind is full of wisdom and his heart full of compassion. The sage also manifests the virtue of non-competition by not competing but emerging victorious nonetheless. The sage has achieved oneness with the Tao by understanding its simplicity. His mind is undistracted, that is why he is able to discover the simplicity in the Tao. In this regard, it is likened to a cat which has much in common with the sage, like the cat which does not deviate from its own nature and being fully aware of the situation at hand, it always lands on its feet no matter what. Physical and spiritual techniques are just as important as ethical or moral techniques or practices. Taoists put emphasis on ethical behavior by incorporating it into their practices. They value the need for a moral life, of good works as well as of ritual atonement for misbehavior. Taoism values the virtues of naturalness, behaving as nature dictates, not as caused by social pressure or personal pride. And naturalism which entails resisting temptation to meddle with nature. Taoists tend not to initiate action, instead they wait for events to make action necessary, avoiding letting their own desires and compulsions push them into doing things. Generally, Taoism just like other religions disapprove of killing, stealing, lying, and promiscuity. 
It promotes philanthropic, selfless, and humane behavior. Good behavior is seen as an essential part not only of self-improvement but the world as a whole. To achieve spiritual perfection like the sage, Taoists practice certain rituals which are listed on the table. Like any other religion, Taoism has a share of issues. One of them is that Taoism has often been criticized for propagating laziness or espousing a fatalistic attitude in life by letting nature take its course and reminding Taoists to just go with the flow. A closer examination of the Wu Wei, however, would reveal that inaction in Taoism simply means avoiding unnatural actions by not doing force or aggressive actions. It means performing all one's actions with natural and unforced attitude. The example of running water exemplifies this kind of unforced action, for when running water in a stream encounters a rock on its path, it does not need to force its way to be able to pass through. Instead, it just passes it through its sides for it to continue its path. Inaction is often misinterpreted as not doing anything, when in fact it means doing things naturally by taking the natural action without the use of force. Another issue encountered by Taoism is the belief in superstitious practices. For instance, there is a misconception that Taoism involves sorcery which includes the drawing of signs, chants, and other practices which led to the notion that Taoism promotes superstitious practices. But the practice of ancestor worship has been an aspect of Chinese culture which found its way in Taoism similar to the Shinto practice among the Japanese. Thus, Taoists often find themselves in temples praying to their ancestors for guidance in their everyday lives. Taoists also pray as a way of remembering their source to repay kindness and sell gratitude. Another issue in Taoism is environmentalism. Taoists believe in the dictum, live nature alone and nature will thrive. Taoism has advocated a utopian vision of society characterized by order and harmony, and an emphasis on self-cultivation as a means of achieving social harmony. One should have a healthy relationship with nature and it should begin with one's own body. Taoism advocates the idea that we should follow the lead of nature instead of controlling it, for humans are natural creatures who should live in harmony with nature. Taoism emphasizes the balance of opposites and the interdependence of all things, which can be interpreted as an ancient equivalent of today's notion of the ecosystem. China's excessive movement toward urban development at present is seen as being inconsistent with the Taoist belief in the importance of living in harmony with nature. Taoists believe that social harmony will be achieved through a return to nature. In this lesson, you have learned that Taoists believe that everything comes from the Tao. Human nature should be aligned with the rest of nature to achieve harmony and balance. Self-cultivation should be encouraged for people to return to the natural mode of existence. For some Taoists, spontaneity is the mode of being experienced fully only by immortals. For most Taoists, living a long and healthy life is their goal. They can achieve this through practicing methods of nourishing life by way of physical exercises designed to improve one's health and lengthen life breathing exercises, drinking potions believed to lengthen life, etc. Living in harmony with nature is the way of living with the Tao, which will lead to good health and long life, even immortality for some, because there is a balance of yin and yang, therefore the qi flows freely. Life and death are mere phases of the qi according to Taoists. They are advised not to be afraid of death, since life and death are but phases of the circulation of the qi. Thus, Taoists' concept of salvation focuses on these lives than in the afterlife. Taoists have no concept of heaven and hell as compared to other religions. In their scriptures, there were mentions of heaven as the abode of their deities and life on earth should be in harmony with the will of heaven. However, based on their concept of qi, heaven is achieved when one achieves immortality. And if this is not possible, then long life is enough. They have this concept that those who achieve immortality reside in utopian places on earth, such as forests and mountains. Before we end, challenge yourself by answering the checkpoint activity. Read the questions carefully and choose the letter of the correct answer. Item number one, which of the following is a mysterious collection of enigmatic remarks which may find hard to understand? A. Book of Chuang Chu. B. Dao Di Jiang. C. Di De. D. Wu Wei. Kindly write down your answer. Item number two. According to myth, he was conceived by a shooting star and was born of a virgin mother who kept him in her womb for 82 years. A. Lao Chi, B. C. Makian, C. Yan Chi, D. Chuang Chu. Can you write down your answer? 
Let us continue with item number 3, which of the following is an essential concept and creative principle in Taoism existed before the world? A. Dai Ti B. The De C. The Tao D. Wu Wei Kindly write down your answer. Item number 4. It refers to natural energy or life force that sustains living beings. A. Qi B. Shi Qi C. Yang D. Yin Kindly write down your answer. And finally, item number 5. Like any other religion, Taoism has a share of issues. Which of the following is not? A. Environmental ethics. B. Fatalism. C. Superstition. D. Urban development. Can you write down your answer? Here are the answers. Item number 1, B. Item number 2, A. Item number 3, C. Item number 4, A. And item number 5, A. Good job, learners! That concludes our lesson. I hope you have learned something and remembered all the important details of our lesson. If ever you forget, you may watch this video again until you master it. Please be reminded to accomplish all the remaining tasks in your self-learning module and in your activity sheet. Keep safe and see you in our next learning session.